Two and six. Christmas carolers may not be the only expected gift. <laughs> this holiday season. This, this story bugs you, does it, it does. not? I never thought of it. Okay, so Nine on Your Side's Palacero shows us the disgusting dangers of bringing home that live Christmas tree. It's the most wonderful time of the year for you and bugs. Typical bugs that you can find in a Christmas tree are things like aphids or little tiny mites. Um, that almost look like a piece of moving dust. You know, just your spiders from being out in the field for so long and growing. Scherzinger Pest Control says that while some trees may have no bugs, others could have thousands. I had never thought of it before, but I think that's probably another reason that I might <laughs> continue to pick an artificial tree. Of the 100 million U.S. households that get real trees for the holidays, 19% are real, 81% artificial like Katie Riches. Hers decorated in ornaments passed on from generation to generation holds a special tradition been in our family for so long and I think we like that idea of being able to reuse the same thing over and over again for families whose tradition is buying a real tree they recommend the first thing you want to do when you pick out a fresh Christmas tree shake it so the bugs come off of it if you just sit there and comb through the branches like this you may dislodge a couple needles but you're also going to dislodge any insects that may have May, try to make their home in that tree, such as those spiders or those various mites. Also, check the joints around the base of the tree. This is where maybe a bird or a squirrel might have tried to make their home. That way you have a silent night. Howl Sorrow 9 on your side. So much to worry about. That My goodness. Our executive producer, she had a house full of spiders. I can't even. Just saying. Oh, goodness gracious. All so right.